All right, I've got two songwriting techniques for you, and I took two of my favorite songwriters and I used something that they used in their songs, and I applied it to my songs, and in a way that doesn't make it sound like their song when you hear it. So the first example is Dave Matthews' song Satellite, which goes like this. In this song, Dave is using this chord shape. It's a fifth and then another fifth, and you can move this chord all over the place. And it has like a really solid, almost medieval sound. There's nothing like medieval about it. And what I did is I moved it over here, and this is the groove that I came up with. Now what I've done here is I've really just taken Dave's chord shape and I put it here, then I put it here, then I put it here, then I put it here. And I included a few open strings as well, and then that's the groove that came out. And if you hear the entire composition, even though I'm using Dave's chord, you're never going to think, oh, that sounds like Dave Matthews. So that was the first example. And the second example is from Jason Mraz. Now Jason Mraz, um, he uses the same progression, the same chord progression, in two hit songs, in Curbside Prophet and in The Remedy, and it goes like this. And the chord that Jason uses is he goes G, and then he goes C6 slash 9. And this 6 slash 9 chord, you could move it all over the place too. And what I've done is I started, uh, I created a groove that starts with this chord, and this is how it goes. And this chord has sort of like a and an, an ambivalent property where you don't know if it's the end of the song or if it's the beginning of the song or if it's the middle of the song. It doesn't really give you that indication. And that's what's really cool about the chord is you can start a groove with it and you can end a groove with it. So again, it's really important to build your chord vocabulary and it's also really important to steal uh, songwriting techniques and chords from your favorite artists um, and again you're never going to be able to imitate them um, it's always going to come out in your unique style so don't even worry about it being stealing um, just learn from them and use it in your stuff in your own songs and um, it's going to come out really well